Welcome back to Guts, the action sports show that asks, do you have it? Yeah. They certainly got it today. And before we get to our next event, it's time for Crash to spill his guts. So Crash, spill your guts. Jeremy Crash Salita was 13 years old. He's a soccer enthusiast who's won many awards. When he's out on the field, you might find him practicing his motorcycle safety skills. All right. Yeah, that's Crash. A little evil Knievel for you. Our next event is called Basic Training. It takes place in our gym, and our obstacles change every day. Take a look at what we got today. We got the cargo net, then the tightrope walk, down the slide for life into this cushion over here, and then into the elastic jungle. Rubber bands all around. Up the wall climb, and then down the free fall 7-7. Seven, seven, and here we go to Mo for the rules. Players will be tying from starting line to free fall. They must complete each obstacle before moving on to the next one. Best time wins. Here we go. On your marks, get set. And Gina, the destroyer, out to destroy the competition. Oh, she's having some trouble early as she gets up that cargo net. It often trips up a lot of our players here on Guts. Now to the tightrope watch. Big, long strides down the slide for life. She's making good time. She's at 19 seconds right now, and she's through the elastic jungle, and she is getting through that thing fast. She just put her head down up the wall climb. She's making good time. Down into the bed. Bang! Very good time, people. Very good time. Well, let's get the official time from our official result referee, Mo. Gina finishes in 28.7 seconds. Oh, <laughs> very good. And looks like Crash is getting ready to get going. We'll take it away to Mo again. On your mark, get set. And Crash determined. Oh, he's got his foot slipped in early. Slipped his foot in that. This cargo net, people, is very hard to get started. Our players are so eager to get through the basic training obstacles, but oftentimes they don't take the time to get their feet in the nylon rungs. And now the slide for life. He is now at 23 seconds. I don't know if he can beat Gina's time on that one, people, but he is making it through the elastic jungle with. Oh, he's getting caught up in the elastic jungle right now, folks. He now has to get up the wall climb. He's still got to get a good time because there's one more player to go. And he's got the free fall. Again, seven foot seven inches high. There we go. And that's Crash. And now let's get the official results from Mora. Mora? Jeremy finishes in 41.2 seconds. 41.2 seconds. So he now takes second place. He can still get second place points because we still have little Tony to go. And little Tony is ready and raring to go. On your mark, get set. Little T, Tony Barronville. He's a man who loves to do a lot of things, such as skateboarding and baseball. We'll talk about when he spills his guts, and right now, he's making good time. He's at 14 seconds, but he's gonna have to really rush if he's gonna beat the Destroyer's time. Little Tony's gotta get through that elastic jungle, and right now, as you can see, he is at 25 seconds. He can still go for second place. He's not gonna get first, but he's gotta beat Crash's time. Can he get up that wall? The other elastic jungle, He's not easy to get through. 36 seconds he's at. Is he gonna beat Crash for the second place points? This little Tony down into our cushion. And we now have an official time for more. More talk to me. Tony clocks in at 41.6 seconds. 41.6 seconds. An incredible, incredible showing by Gina the Destroyer on that obstacle course, our basic training today. Let's now go for the official standings on that from Mora. In first, we have Gina in blue with 28.7 seconds. In second, Jeremy in red with 41.2 seconds. And in third, Tony in purple with 41.6 oh, okay. seconds. So Crash just beaten little Tony. Let's watch the Destroyer go through this elastic jungle. I gotta say, I haven't seen anybody go through this faster. She just put her head down. You, you know she's going to the national competition in gymnastics. She is definitely a limber person. And we have Gina right here. Gina, what was your strategy for getting through that obstacle course? You did fantastic. Well, I tried to stay really low and under the, um, the little net things and just go as fast as I could. She just Her strategy was to stay low and get through that elastic jungle as fast as she could. She definitely got through there fast. And now let's go to the leaderboard and more. 
Here is the leaderboard. In first, we have Gina in blue with 800 points. In second, Jeremy in red with 600 points. And coming in third is Tony in purple with 500 points. All righty. And we still have more coming up. But before we do that, let's have little Tony spill his guts. Tony, spill your guts. Little Tony Barronville is 10 years old. He loves to skateboard and play baseball and football. He recently closed in on a big world record in a 100-yard dash when his mom called him home for dinner. And little Tony made it home. We got a little energy for our next game, which is called Free Kick. We're going to see a lot of soccer balls shot at our players in this next event. Let's go to more for the rules. Mo. Mike, in this event, each player will have 30 seconds to defend their goal against two cannons shooting soccer balls at them. The player who blocks the most balls wins. So, players, on your places, take your mark, get set. And 30 seconds to stop as many soccer balls as they can. They must remember to be on the balls of their feet of this one because you've got it coming at them from two different angles. Now, in regular soccer, of course, you've got only, only one ball coming at you at once. <laughs> Not in this game, no. They're coming from me at both angles. Very strong, fast shot. And we've got uh, time counting down here. We've got to make sure we got... All righty. That's crash. That's a good shot at crash. Now, you also got to make... Oh, that's the end of the game right there. And there are a lot of soccer balls out on the floor. Now, remember, the agility in this game, game is the important thing, to make sure that you're getting your hands, your legs, your feet, your head. But let's go tomorrow for the results. Mo. We have a tie in first place. Both Gina in blue and Jeremy in red got 17 blocks each. That leaves Tony in purple third with 13 blocks. A tie for first place. We're going to take a look at Crash. Get, let one get by him right there, but he's ready for the next shot. And he gets his left hand down in front of it, his right hand for the next one. And we've got both our winners here for a little interview before our next event. J Crash, you got your hands in front of you. You got 17 in front of you. Did they come at? Did they come at you faster than you than you thought? Yeah, they were. That, that slingshot shot was kind of tricky and all, but I got it. No problem. Good job. And Gina, were, did the did it hurt when the balls were smacking you all over your body? Yeah, my hands are a little sore from hitting them. A little bit sore, but you took first place on that one. A tie for first place, 17 for Crash, 17 for the Destroyer. Let's go to more for the leaderboard. So far, we have Gina in blue in the lead with 1,100 points. That leaves Jeremy in second with 900 points. Tony in purple third with 600 points. Oh, yeah. That's the end of free kick. It is anybody's game. Oink, oink, said the hungry pig. But the hungry kid said, let me climb the aggro crack because I'm hungry for it. You feel it coming alive. We're coming back in a flash.